Okay, part two of general solution. So part one, we spoke about the introduction. Part two, let's jump straight into it. The basics, you should know how to use your calculator when we're solving for an angle, okay? So if this was a question given to you, let's say it was like a grade 10 question given to you, sine theta equals 0, comma 2, 4, you should all know that if you solve in for this theta, press shift, sine 0 0.24, and you get your solution. And that's what I wrote for you over here. Okay. This here is going to be referred to as our reference angle. What do I mean by that? Okay, I'm going back to this horrible diagrams that we drew over here. But it's referring to the very first point that you get in the very first angle that you work in with. And then to get to the next one, you just add 360 and the next one and the next one. Okay, that's what it's talking about. Okay, here's some examples. The first one says solve the following trig equation and we have sine theta equals the 0, 0,24. Now we already know how to find our reference angle. Now this is where I'd like you guys to please write these things down in your book, okay? So you're writing this down. This is the example. Okay, and these are the steps that you're following. As you listening to what I'm saying and watching what I'm doing, please make notes for yourself. Pause in between, write down the steps that I'm saying and fill it in into your book, okay? You can write down rules for yourself also if that makes it easier for you to understand. Okay, reference angle, theta equals. Now, I know it's the exact same number, but you would type it in, shift, Sine 0, 0,24. That's what we're given over there. It gives me 13.388654. Most tests say that we should round off to two decimal places, which is what I'm going to do. My suggestion for this is, remember, we always round off only in our final answer. Okay, so you can, when you're calculating on your calculator, when you're going to subtract an add or anything like that, keep this number as is on your calculator. Okay, 13.88654, etc. Okay, now remember we were talking about which quadrants it fits into. Do you see how this here is a positive? Okay, positive over here. Where is sine positive? We know that sine is positive in quadrant 1. Okay, let's place quadrant Those are the two places where sine is positive. So you copy this down. In quadrant 1, we know our reduction. It's an acute angle already. There's no reduction formula for it unless you're changing from sine to cos and then you're using the 90 minus. But we don't need that over here. We're not changing any ratios. Okay, so this here is 13 point, not adding or subtracting to it. If my question paper says round off to two decimal places, that's what I'm doing over here. So it gives me 8, 9 degrees plus k times 360 degrees. Don't forget that. Okay, and we're done with the first general solution. That means, same like how we got this first one over here, we're done with that general solution. Now remember, there were two solutions where it was positive, it was in quadrant one, quadrant two. I feel like I'm repeating the same thing over and over, but this is very important. Okay, in quadrant two, we know that the reduction is 180 degrees minus whatever the angle is. So this part here, you copy down over here, this part here, whatever is here, in this case, it's just this number, okay? Whatever is on this right-hand side, we put in it over here. So it's 13.88654, whatever it was, plus k times 360, okay? Simplify, so we're done with the general solution, the difficult part of it. We're now just simplifying, and this is like normal algebra. Okay, 80 minus our answer. Oh, I did I write on 80? Sorry, this should be 166. Point. Now we can round off 1 1 plus k times 360 degrees. Okay, what did I say you shouldn't forget? K is an element of integers. And that there is finding the general solution. Okay, I've started with a really easy one. And that's how you would find the general solution. Let's 
continue. Okay, what happens if I have a negative sign in front of it? So this one over here. Okay, same thing. I need to find my reference angle. So, shift sign negative 0 0.81. Okay, that's my... Oh, we don't put the negative. Let's take that away. Sorry, there we go. Without the negative sign, that's my angle. So, 54... 0 0.095 okay that's my angle let's write this down okay now remember this here is negative please don't forget i didn't you do not put the negative sign onto the calculator okay i made a mistake there do not put it on Okay, it's negative over here, so you ask yourself, in which two quadrants is it negative? It's negative in quadrant 2, no, quadrant 3, so many mistakes, and quadrant 4. Right, in quadrant 3, so the side here, we copy down here, in quadrant 3, the reduction formula is 180 degrees plus whatever our reference angle is. plus k times 360 degrees. I'm going to simplify this. Okay, we're now rounding off. So 234.10 degrees plus k times 360. And on this side here in quadrant I'm just getting back to our 54, right? In quadrant 4, we know that our reference, uh, our reduction is 360 degrees minus whatever is on the side here, our reference angle, 54.09. Okay. And there we go, we're done. That's our general solution. Okay, I'm gonna try these quickly with you. Question C and D. I'd like you guys to try it first before I before you continue watching what I'm doing. Try it on your own first and see if you understand this concept. Okay, for D, we need to make sure that it goes ratio angle equals number. So I'm first going to simplify this. So I got ratio angle number. Okay.
until thin. Okay, our reference angle in this case is B plus 30 degrees equals Where is tn in this case here? It's positive. tn is positive in quadrant 1. You notice how I copied everything on the left hand side? In quadrant 1, the reduction is, it's, it's done already. It's an acute angle, so I don't have to reduce it any further. Okay, you do not have to write quadrant 3, but if you did, it's perfectly acceptable. Okay, now we just simplify taking this over. Do you have to show the step? No, absolutely not. You can do it in your calculator. And just jump to the step. This one over here, need to get it. Ratio angle equals number. I have this negative sign over here. I'm dividing by that. Ooh. Okay, reference angle. Don't type in the negative. Now we're asking ourselves, where is the negative? It's in quadrant 2 and 4. We just have to write down quadrant 2. I'm just going to continue over here. happens if you are given I hope up until the day everybody understands okay uh, what happens if you are given angles so like here this whole angle or this whole angle where it has a coefficient so up until I haven't given you any coefficients but what if it does have a coefficient when you do your reference angle please don't divide by it like you normally would if you see it you're going to divide by whatever that coefficient is in your general solution step. So here's an example. You see my angle has the coefficient. So I'm going to pass a reference angle. Okay, this one's a negative one. We assign negative, it's negative in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So quadrant 3. Okay, and in quadrant, let's draw one here, quadrant 4. In quadrant four, we know it's three sixty degrees minus whatever our reference angle would be. Plus K 
times 360. Please don't forget that. Now we're going to simplify. So we're solving the equation like we normally would for an algebraic equation. So this is going to give us... I'm going to divide here by 2, divide here by 2, and divide here by 2 because it's like an algebraic equation. And I wrote here, it affects the period of your function. Okay, that's our first solution. K is an element of integers. Oh, please don't forget that. Okay. Right. What do we have? Okay. Now what happens if we need to do those questions where I said we need to get them where it's ratio, angle equals exactly the same ratio and an angle. Okay, so there's two different scenarios with that. Option one, it can be given two different ratios, okay, but the same angle and I need to get one of those ratios to be exactly the same as the other one. Or I can be given two different ratios and two different angles and then what do I do okay so the first one like I said with the same angle please don't forget we have an identity if we have sine theta over cos theta it gives us tan theta so we're going to be using this identity to our advantage so here's a question sine theta plus 30 degrees equals 3 cos theta plus 30 degrees same angle different ratios Okay, so as long as it's the same ratio, I mean same angle, we can divide here by cos and divide here by cos. So what I'm doing on one side, I'm doing on the other side. This idea, sine over cos, and it's the exact same angle, leaves me with tan of that angle. And on the side, cos divided by cos gives me 1, and there was a 3 over here. From this point, you can continue like how we did with the previous ones. So reference angle. we go that's what we would do if it's the exact same i mean different ratios but the exact same angle let's try another example again this one yeah, i want you to try it on your own see if you can get it if you can't then watch what i did if you can get it then you're watching what i did just to see if i got if you got the exact same answer
Now what happens if we have different ratios but different angles? And then you're going to use the identity, where, uh, not the identity, the reduction where we have 90 degrees minus to our advantage. Okay, so see here I have sine on one side, I have cos on the other side. One angle is completely different from the other angle over there. So what are we going to do? You pick the easier one. You can pick either one that you want. I say pick the easier one. This one here seems easier to work with than this one over here. So I'm going to change this to this. Remember, we learned this in class, the reduction formula. Now, since these two have the exact same ratio, our reference angle, and you don't need the calculator this time, I'm going to copy this whole thing, equals this whole thing. Okay, that's our reference angle. Now from here, you're going to ask yourself, this was cos. Cos is positive in which quadrant? It was in quadrant 1. Okay, so quadrant 1 is, and you're copying exactly this. Plus k times 360. And then you're going to simplify this. And our other solution is in quadrant 4. So you copy in this side as is. And on this side, remember we were doing 360 degrees minus. plus k times 360. And now we're just going to be simplifying either of them. Okay. This is 45 minus 90, so negative 45. Um, theta equals, okay, we're jumping straight to our answer since I'm out of space. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Negative 45 divided by negative 5 giving me 9 degrees minus 360 divided by negative 5, negative 72. So minus k times 72 degrees aside. And there we go, our general solution. Okay. Last type of fact, um, general solution. So the, the rules are still staying exactly the same. Okay, we wanted ratio, angle equals number, or else ratio, angle equals same ratio, can be different angle. Right now, our uh, that was our aim. We can throw in different complicated ones, and these are the most complicated ones. Okay, where they ask you to use, or they don't even ask you, they give it to you like this, and they expect you to use factorization that you learned in grade 9 and 10 to simplify it. Okay, that's what we're going to be doing, right? To not simplify it, to solve for it. Okay, so I want you to remember exactly what you did in grade eight, uh, 9 and 10 with your factorization. You're applying it here, just this time you're going to have trig ratios, right? But don't be scared because if you, let's scribble over here, let's say I have sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta cos 
for example, let's say I have something like this and you look at it and you're like, oh crap, what do I do with something like this? A nice thing to remember or to make it easier for yourself, change this to x squared. This is 2xy plus y squared. There we go. We simplified that. Okay, that's exactly what it looks like. And if that's what we were working with, we would factorize this as x plus y x plus y that's exactly what we would factorize it with in this case x is sine uh, sine so we're going to just change that to sine theta plus cos theta and there we go you factorized that okay so do that for yourself if it makes it a bit easier to work with right quick recap what are our types of factorization that we most commonly test difference of two squares trinomials and highest common factor and in between all of that we have hidden the identity sine squared plus cos squared equals one so be alert and quite aware of something like that all right first question over here can you notice that the sine theta plus 30 degrees is repeated here sine theta plus 30 degrees okay so this is a case where we're going to be taking out highest common factor oh i forgot to mention something but everyone knows this when we have two brackets next to each other equal to zero each bracket is equal to zero this only applies for zero nothing else okay anyway take out the highest common factor of sine theta plus 30 degrees we left behind here with sine theta plus 30 degrees. Oh, that's a 30 degrees. Okay, this idea, if I took this whole thing out, I'm left with plus 2 cos theta plus 30 degrees equals to zero. Do you see how I have, this whole thing is one bracket basically, it's one term. One term multiplied by another whole term equals zero. So that means sine or I'm going to simplify this one. I mean, solve for it one time. I just took that over because this whole bracket equals to zero. Alright, this one over here, I'm going to make a separate video on special cases with our general solution. But for now, we're going to treat this exactly as it is. This here, we would get our reference angle. Okay. Just for this one over here, I am going to make a separate video on this. Okay. Okay, this side over here, we have different ratios, but exactly the same angle. So, Go. Okay, same thing now. We're going to find our reference angle. Oh, 
way is dn negative from here negative Here we go. That's my general solution. This, this time for this particular equation that we were given, we have one, two, three parts to it. Okay. Here's one more question for you guys to try first, and then I'm going to walk through it. And then you're going to see my answer and see if you got the exact same answer. Okay. It's slightly different to this one over here. This looks pretty similar to this question over here. So I'm going to put it into its brackets. I know this is tedious, but I'm writing out the exact same thing twice for you to show you guys that this bracket equals to zero or this bracket equals to zero. Different ratios, exactly the same angle. another special case like I said I'll make a separate video for this but I'm explain I'm gonna do the solution here already If this was something different, then you'd show the whole full calculation for this one is, is, right? It just so happened that this one here is exactly the same. So the solution is also exactly the same. Right, that's all for this video. Please, I hope that you were taking down notes and you were actually trying these things out. These things are coming out for the grade 11s of 2021. If you're watching this right now, these things are coming out in your test on Monday. Please, please study this.